During my career, uh, I've done a number of coins. Um, they tell me over 100, but I, I don't know. I lost count a long time ago. Uh, it's never been how many I did. It's, it's always been uh, the, that I have fun doing them, and, and I did. When I was designing the Statue of Liberty, you know, I'd always seen her holding the plaque. And I didn't know the plaque had the date, July 4, 1776. I never knew that. It was, in, it was in Roman numerals. Couldn't see it from my vantage point. You know, the way I depicted her, you couldn't see it at all. But, uh, and in fact, I took artistic license and I put the island behind her, Ellis Island, which is in reality is not the way it is. But it just, it just worked artistically and as a design example. I knew I wanted to do uh, a full length uh, figure of the Statue of Liberty, which I don't think had been done up to that point. And I began researching it. And one of the things I, I took a, I, I worked from a picture that, sh that was taken from over the head of the statue to her feet. And if you look at her feet from that vantage point, you'll see that she's walking out of chains. She's breaking chains as she's walking forward. I never knew that. You know, I've, I've only seen the whole statue. So if you look very closely on the coin, you'll see that um, she's breaking chains. She's walking through these chains. So it's very small, but I, I put them in there anyway. The Statue of Liberty program was one of my favorites because my grandparents were immigrants and their parents were immigrants. My father's mother's parents came over before she was born and they settled in Savannah, Georgia. And they were minstrels on the uh, riverboats. My father showed me pictures of uh, uh, cousins and uncles playing violins and accordions. And that's what they did, they played on the riverboats. So I kind of dedicate that, dedicated that coin to them.